sudden oak death pathogen is called Phytophthora morum, and it kills five trees in our forests. Can oak, coast live oak, black oak, Shreve's oak, and canyon oak. Phytophthora morum is a fungus-like organism. It's related to kelp, and it needs water to sporulate, to reproduce. So in the springtime, when our wet springtimes, it can reproduce on lots of plants in our forests, especially bay and tan oak. The most reliable way to test for Phytophthora remorum, the pathogen that causes sudden oak death, in your forest is to look for symptoms on the bay leaves, collect those leaves, and send them off for testing at a laboratory. The bay tree happens to be one where the pathogen does really well on. And in the springtime, the warm, wet springs, it will produce a lot of spores. They'll blow off onto your oak and potentially start an infection there, which can kill your oak, but it won't kill your bay. A diseased bay leaf will have a brown tip right where the water collects in the springtime. The tip will die, and then you'll have maybe a black line, which is this front of infection, a yellow halo around that, and the line will be very, it'll be a very irregular lesion on the leaf. This is a black oak tree outside of Sebastopol and it apparently has been killed by Phytophthora remorum, the pathogen that caused sudden oak death. This disease is called sudden oak death because leaves will suddenly turn brown and the tree will look dead, but it's actually been infected for probably a year or two or more. So the symptoms on this tree that it is dead is that there's a lot of frass, and this frass is, is boring dust from, from beetles. You can see it collects on the moss, collects on spider webs, it collects on the ivy growing up the trunk. Insects are attracted to infections afterwards, but insects aren't what spreads this disease. There's no evidence of that. Another sign that the wood is dead is this Annulohypoxlon fungus that grows on the surface of the bark. Sudden oak death is a huge problem because it's an exotic disease and there's no natural cure for it. There's no natural control for it. And it attacks and kills a number of our very valuable oak species. Sudden oak death is in our county and it's moving. And we want to be able to stop the spread. And the only way we can stop the spread is to educate people about what the pathogen is and how it's moving through our county. Here we are next to a coast live oak in West County Forest and it's bleeding near the base. One of the things that could cause this is Phytophthora remorum, which is the pathogen that causes sudden oak death. So the bleeding means there's an infection underneath the bark. Usually the bleeding will be really low down. So a tan oak can die, the can canopy can turn completely brown, but it still sprouts from the base and from the roots, sprouts these new green leaves. And then it can become reinfected. And here is some new growth, new shoot, and, and it's become infected and uh, bent over. We call it a shepherd's crook. So this sprout has died. The property that I have, I have uh, coastal live oaks, I have black oaks. These are both trees that are affected by this sudden oak death. So yes, I, I'm concerned and want to be knowledgeable about what can affect them. If it's a prized oak and you want to make sure you save it, you can treat it with a product called Agrifos. And that you can do yourself. You don't have, a ha have to have a professional do it. Um, you can either inject it with an injection kit that you can buy online or get it at uh, some of the retail stores around. You could uh, spray it, which is very easy to do. Um, and that basically is for once a year you do that and it's pretty easy. And it, it has been shown very effective in protecting the oaks. We know how to protect these landscape trees by either spraying the trunks or treating the trunks with an injectable material. So we know we can protect those trees if there's a very valuable specimen tree. An oak tree that is infected uh, and dies from this pathogen is not going to spread the disease to other oaks. This disease spreads easily and naturally in our forests, but it also spreads by us, by humans. So what you don't want to do is spread the disease and the way you can prevent that is by not moving vegetation and soil from an infected area to an uninfected area. From hikers, from bikers, um, from horses, uh, from equipment that tree services or somebody else brings in and doesn't properly clean when they go to the next location.
It's really a simple fix. All they need to do is to brush off as much mud as they can, and rinse off when they get home in a sink, or use a weak Clorox solution, or even Lysol will kill the pathogen. More or less just sanitizing things as you leave an area that's known to have a sudden oak death in it. In the spring times, we have these events, they're called sod blitzes, and people can go out. We teach them what the disease looks like on a bay, they collect them, and we send them into a lab where they get tested for Phytophthora remorum. We want to save as many oaks as we can, and we want to stop the spread. We don't want to spread it outside of our area. And if we all work together to educate the people in Sonoma County about this disease, I think we can go a long way to managing it um, saving a lot of trees, saving a lot of species, and saving this very valuable resource for our environment. Oaks is a quintessential tree of California. It's the most beautiful tree that we have. Uh, all you have to do is walk through this park and you're in grove after grove of these incredible California oaks. And I can't imagine this landscape without them. What we can do for you in this program is help you figure out whether your trees are at risk and if they are, what you can do to help protect them from this disease.